the warning of the man of God, and it seems that you are rolling along smoothly, that the devil will cause you to think that it'll stay that way. Are y'all with me here? But, but, but I have come to serve somebody notice that it didn't take long before the storm came. Everything was looking good, but it didn't take long before the lightning began to flash. It didn't take long before the thunder began to roll. And I just wonder if there's anybody in this room, it seems like your life has been sailing smooth along. Seemed like everything was okay. Seemed like you had money in the bank. Seemed like everybody was on your side. But you see, discovered that in the blink of an eye, that a storm had risen in your life. You don't even know how it came. You don't really know what direction that it came in. All you know is that a storm. I need some storm folks here today. Had come in your life. I believe that if, 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 that, that, that if we would learn how to listen to God sometimes. That some of our situations that we find ourselves in could, could be avoided. Are y'all here? Because sometimes we put ourselves into situations because we feel that everything is going smooth. Amen. I need a little volume in this mic here. Amen. It, it seems like everything is, is, is going all right, that we have our ice cream and cake at the same time. But, when, but, but that, that, that happens whenever we take man's voice over God's voice. But I want you to know that when you do that type of thing, when you listen to man and when you listen to what man has to say and does not pay any attention to what God says, that you're going to have some trouble in your life. Are y'all here? I said you're going to have some trouble in your life. As a matter of fact, some folks will say the devil will dog you out if you allow me to say it that way. For the Bible declares that let God be true, but every man a liar. And the Bible also says to trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Are y'all with me? And lean not, somebody know what I'm talking about, to your own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will not maybe not possibility but he will direct your path somebody tell your neighbor only trust him only trust him but the part that makes me just give God all the glory and honor is that God now get this, still gave Paul a word after the storm had taken place. Y'all didn't hear me here. So somebody said, so you mean to tell me that, that God can still give me a word even when I didn't follow directions the first time? Even though I'm going through a storm, that God still has a word for me. Even though I'm suffering, that God will still speak to me. And I say, yes. What a mighty God we serve. Because God will still supply all of my needs. Because somebody said, and I know that somebody in the room can witness to this, that he looks. Beyond all of my thoughts. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to talk to myself today. And he saw all of my needs. You see, God is, God is an awesome God. So, so as we look deeper into this message, we find here 
that we find here that, 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 that God is an awesome God. But, but, I, but I want you to also take notice or take note of Paul's personal decision. Because the Bible says that this creature latches on to him. And the Bible says that he shook. Did y'all hear me? Off the creature. Now, 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 Paul could have called on others to come and see about him. Y'all know how something happened with us. The first thing we do, we want everybody to come see. Hey, look what's happened to me. The devil got me now. But, 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 but Paul could have, he could have whined. And he could have complained. But he took the responsibility of shaking it off. Are y'all here? And my brothers and sisters, we as saints need to learn how to take responsibility for what happens to us. And and I, I know that you might not be able to control the snake jumping on you, but you do have a choice in how long you're going to let it hang on to you. Y'all didn't hear that, did I'm going to say that again. You, you, you don't have no choice. Every once in a while, you ever been out in the woods and something jump on you? Now, now you didn't have a choice about that. You may not be happy about it, but you'd be a fool if you kept it on you. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You, but you got to make up in your mind that if it gets me, I'm going to shake it off. Tell somebody, shake it off. And I, and I believe that that is what, what many of us face is that we don't know when to let go. You got to get in your mind that I can't be hung up on what he says or she says mess. I can't be hung up on depression. I can't be hung up on oppression. I can't be hung up on distress and poverty and long suffering. But there has to be a breaking point in my life where I have to take responsibility and say it's time to dust to shake off the dust from my feet and keep on moving on. Are y'all here? You got to take responsibility. But not only that, but we discover that Paul also discovers that it was the fire that caused the snake to be exposed. Are y'all here? He, he discovered that the, the, the venomous beast sought to attach itself to the one that is anointed and serving. And you got to understand that the anointing does not only attach good things. Y'all not here with me. But it also brings some bad things. Y'all, y'all didn't get that, did y'all? Because some of us think that because we're saved and because we're sanctified and because we go to church that, that nothing's going to happen to us. But I tell you, when you're saved and when you're sanctified, there's some things that are going to come your way sometimes that you're not going to like in your life. Are y'all here? I said, are y'all here? I, I believe I will say that again. The anointing attracts good things but also attracts things that will try to trick you into seemingly being good. But I want you to know that it is just the setup from the devil just to get you off track. It's because of my anointing. And don't you know that some of, some of them thought that, that, that when, when, when this venomous creature had attacked Paul, they said, he must be a sinner. Said, he must have done something wrong. That, 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 that there must be some great sin. And God is punishing him for what you have or what has happened in his life. And you know, if you have people even in the church that, that think that a lot of times that when you are going through a trial or that when you are suffering, that you're just reaping what you're sowing. Or that you have done something in the past. But I've got a message for somebody today. 
I come to serve somebody notice that just because I'm broke just because I've got some problem just because I've got some things happening